Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are going to be doing a little bit of a Halara try-on haul, including a whole bunch of new dresses, some new pants and joggers, as well as some new tops. So a little bit of everything to get ready for spring and summer. Now if you have never heard of Halara before, they are a company that is most well known for their little play dresses that have have built-in shorts underneath. I have a bunch of these different dresses and I've also filmed quite a few different review videos going over the different styles and the different lengths of the dresses. So if you are looking for a review of a specific item, definitely let me know down in the comments and I can let you know how I liked it if I've tried that before. Now for everything that I'm going to try on today, I will include a link to that specific item along with what color I got and what size I got down in the description box. So just expand the description, scroll down, and you should be able to find a link to anything that I try on today. And of course, like always, if you have absolutely any questions, let me know down in the comments section and I'm super happy to answer them. And with that, let's get right into the review as we've got a lot of different pieces to try on today, starting out with this first little dress. Now, I adore the color of this dress. One of the great things about Halara is pretty much any item that you want to get you can get in a range of colors. So if you love this dress, but maybe you want it in a bright pastel for spring, you can most likely get that. And the same goes for pretty much everything that they sell. Now this dress from the front, I think looks absolutely adorable. Obviously it has a pretty defined waist and then a skirt that kind of goes out at an A-line after that. It's not too low cut in the front. I think that it looks like really pretty and feminine without being too much cleavage. And I like that. And then the the back is really where this dress shines. So this is a complete crisscross back which I think looks really, really good. However, do keep in mind, you might need somebody to help you lay them flat because it can be pretty hard to do it behind your back once you put it on and they do get a little bit twisted up. Now, I am personally not wearing a bra with this. It does have a little bit of compression to it, so I don't necessarily feel like I need to. And there are also removable pads in this so that your nips are not showing, but I would likely take those out and just wear some pasties or something underneath this. Now, if you are going to wear a bra, just remember that you will likely be able to see it at the back. So maybe just go with something pretty and strappy. Now, this dress is a little different from other ones that I've tried from Halara because these shorts are not attached. However, they are included whenever you buy the dress. So you get sent a pair of matching shorts. So you can either wear them underneath and then if you're doing an activity like you're playing tennis or badminton or pickleball, whatever, you don't have to worry about flashing anybody because you have the shorts. But if you don't want these shorts, maybe you wanna wear tights underneath, you can take them off and not wear them. So overall, I feel like this one's very, very cute. It is in the very traditional Halara fabric, which I I would consider to be like a really nice soft feeling athletic wear style fabric that kind of wicks away sweat and doesn't let a bunch of sweat marks show through. I personally wear these dresses for all kinds of different activities in the summer. I've worn them golfing, kayaking, and I feel like they are perfect little everyday dresses that you can wear for activities or just to look cute. All right, next up, we've got a much longer dress option. This time the dress is more of a midi length. It basically goes to like mid calf on me. I think that the length is really nice. The top is fairly fitted. It does have a little bit of a shelf bra inside and then and it also has removable cups. These cups are a little bit lumpy, so once again, I would probably take them out. Now, this dress does not have built-in shorts, and the slit on it, at least for me, is so high. I think that it looks really good, but I don't know if I would feel comfortable wearing a dress with quite so high of a slit. I think that the slit being this high makes it a lot less wearable in terms of there being way fewer occasions that you would actually feel comfortable wearing it. Now this one does have pockets, which obviously we know we love pockets in dresses. You could definitely put your phone in there, maybe your wallet, your keys, and it wouldn't be a problem. I do think you'd be able to see it kind 
kind of like bunched out a little bit. The back on this one is a little bit of a racer back, which I think looks really nice. And once again, I love the color of this. I think the green is absolutely stunning. So I definitely do like this. Once again, I'm just not sure that I will wear it with the big thigh slit. Now next up I've got a variety of different bottoms and tops and I have to say I know that right now like super rigid jeans and trousers are very much in style. I literally cannot wear those styles of pants. The difference between my waist measurement and my hip slash butt measurement is just too much. Every single time I try and buy like a really cute trendy pair of rigid pants they literally do not fit at all. So I am probably doomed to be a stretchy pant queen forever. So I have a variety of different like pant and skirt styles. We're gonna try them all. Hopefully I find something that's gonna work for me because I just don't have any pants. So first up, we have these black pants. Obviously they have the buttons up the front. They do have the cute little pockets in the front and they are a little bit of a wide leg situation. Now, unfortunately for me, they're way too long. Fortunately, I can of course get them hemmed if I need to, and I would have to hem them to be able to wear them. Now, I do think that these are cute. I think that they look really good. They're obviously tighter on the bum than a more like rigid pant would be, but they're very, very comfortable. They are super, super high rise. My belly button is way down here. They sit well above that, but I think these are very cute. If you are somebody who cannot for the life of you buy like real dress pants but you have to wear like a black dress pant style pant to work. I think this could be a really, really good option for you. There are also pockets on the back and maybe some people would take issue with it and say, you know, like, oh, those are stretchy pants. They aren't real dress pants. Unfortunately, sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. And I do personally think that they look enough like dress pants that you could probably get away with it. Now this little tank that I have them paired with is just a crop tank from the front. It just looks like a cute little white tank top. And then at the back, it has a little bit of a crisscross. I think that this little top is super cute. This is definitely something that I will wear with all kinds of different pieces that I already have. And even in this format with just like a little pair of dress pants, if you threw a blazer or a cardigan over this, I 100% believe that you could wear this to most business casual style offices and nobody would bat an eye. So definitely a good pant option if you are very curvy in the butt like me and cannot wear most normal pants. Now, next up, I decided to try a little pair of cargo inspired pants. Now, these are obviously still that super thick, stretchy material. However, these ones do actually have like a fly and two buttons to keep them closed, unlike the other ones that were just pull on. These ones do have little like cargo style pockets up here that have kind of buttons to keep them closed. However, because my hips like flare out quite a lot, I find that they're sitting away from my body instead of sitting flat against, which I might be able to like just put a couple stitches in the corners to hold them down. But then of course you can't actually use those as pockets. And this style does not have back pockets. So then I have no pockets at all in my pants, which is frustrating. These ones are also still way, way too long for me. And just for reference, I'm only five foot one. Pants being way too long is not unusual. <laughs> I do think that these ones are cute. They obviously have the little seams that run down the front that I think look really nice. However, the mix of them being too long and the pockets sitting out kind of weird, I will likely have to find somebody else who will wear these and love them. I might try and give them to my younger sister. She's a little bit taller, so hopefully the length will be a little bit better for her than it is for me. For the last pair of pants, before we go on to skirts, I have this little pair of basically denim joggers. And these were intriguing to me once again because I literally cannot buy jeans. It is not possible. And I do actually like how these look. I was nervous that they were going to look a little bit gimmicky and I wasn't going to like them. But I think for just like a chill pair of joggers that you're going to put on and just like go around town, these are actually fine. I do think that they look pretty good. I do feel like they are pulling down in the back a little bit as they're like stretching over my bum versus where they're sitting in the front. But with like a normal length t 
t-shirt, I don't know if you would notice that and I think it would be fine. The biggest thing about these is just the fact that the jogger band at the bottom, I think will make them kind of awkward in a lot of pairs of shoes. Unless you have like a boot or something that's going to cover that a little bit. And then I think that if these strings were covered, it would just look like a pair of skinny jeans, to be honest. Overall, not something that I thought I would like, but I'm actually like pretty pleasantly surprised with them. And it is nice to find pants that just straight up fit when you try them on in length and in the waist. And lastly, we have one of their little crossover waist mini skirts. Now this skirt does have built-in shorts with pockets. My one gripe with these shorts, and I have said this about every skirt I've tried from Polara at this point, the skirt is just slightly too short so that the shorts have to be too short so they're not actually preventing chub rub in any way. So I would not actually be able to wear this skirt for like a physical activity. I could only wear it if I'm not going to be doing a lot of walking. Now the shorts do have pockets, which is nice. Once again, I love being able to put my phone in my pocket. And I think that the skirt itself looks really cute nice and ruffly and enough volume that it looks really good when you're kind of twirling around. I like that crisscross waistband. I think that it looks really good and kind of draws the eye to your waist. But once again, the length is just too short. And you can see in the back, the shorts are poking out because my bum is just pushing the skirt too far away from my body. And that happens with every single one of these little skirts with built-in shorts, not just from Halara, but from everywhere. For some reason, they think that this like super short below fingertip length is the ideal skirt length. So unfortunately, this one will probably be something that I'll have to give to somebody who's a little flatter in the butt than I am. But I do think that it's really cute. I love the color of it. I just wish that both the skirt and the built-in shorts were a little bit longer. And with that, those are all the things that I tried from Polara this time. Definitely be sure to let me know what your favorite pieces were and what your least favorite were. Now, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more hauls and try-ons and reviews, please be sure to hit the big red subscribe button found down below. You can also hit the bell notification button to be notified when I post. I do put out two videos every single week along with a bunch of YouTube shorts. And like always, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you have a fabulous week and that I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.